Sweden is a traditional country in the development of fighter aircraft. Gripen, its most recent project, incorporates many new technologies and places Sweden in the select group of countries capable of designing high-performance fighters. But how does the Gripen fare against other fighters, such as the F-15, F-16, Typhoon and Russian-designed fighters? Answering this question is a bit difficult, given that actual performance parameters are confidential and actual combats are quite rare. An alternative is to observe aerial combat exercises. Gripen has already participated in several important military exercises, and fortunately some data is public. Stefan Englund, former flight engineering lieutenant at the Swedish Air Force, brings some interesting reports about the Gripen's performance, such as its participation in Red Flag Alaska 2006. According to Stefan, with reduced air support and no early warning aircraft, the Gripen fighters connected via datalink to create a very broad situational awareness, sometimes superior to that of adversaries. Without much effort, Swedish fighters evaded ground defenses and scored 10 kills on the first day, including a Typhoon fighter. In the same exercise, a single Gripen pilot would have shot down five F-16 fighters in close aerial combat, without any losses. Stefan remembers that although the F-16 is more powerful, the Gripen compensates with lower wing load and drag, in addition to being a newer generation. At the end of Red Flag Alaska 2006, the U.S. Air Force praised the Gripen's operational availability and electronic warfare system. Stefan states that encounters between the Gripen and F-16 in exercises were common, and the Swedish fighter never had difficulty outperforming the American plane. In an exercise with the Royal Norwegian Air Force, three Swedish Gripen would have faced five Norwegian F-16s. Gripen won 5-0 in the first round, 5-0 in the second round, and 5-1 in the third round. Stefan also recalls the encounter between Swedish Gripen fighters and American F-15CS in the Loyal Aero exercise, in Sweden. According to his report, three F-15 fighters were intercepted by a single Gripen, which managed to shoot down two of them. The third F-15 used the advantage of its greater power and managed to escape. Another interesting report, this time from a Gripen pilot, was about the Meatball 14 exercise, where Gripen fighters from Sweden and Typhoon fighters from the Royal Air Force faced each other. The combat consisted of one Gripen against two Typhoons, starting in a frontal approach. The Gripen carried only short-range missiles, while the Typhoon carried short- and medium-range missiles. The Gripen pilot activated the electronic warfare system at full power to interfere with the Typhoon's radar, managing to avoid engagement by the medium-range missiles. As soon as the aircraft entered visual range, Gripen released its decoys to avoid locking on heat-seeking missiles before they were even launched, and after maneuvering sharply, managed to kill both Typhoons using Iris T missiles, with a difference of just 9 seconds between kills. This moment was recorded on the Gripen's HMD camera, which shows a Typhoon about to be killed. In the Falcon Strike 2015 exercise, Thai Gripen also stood out against Chinese Su-27 and J-11 fighters. In combat beyond visual range, the Gripen killed 41 Su-27 and J-11 fighters, and was killed only 9 times. At least 25% of the time, the Gripen killed Chinese adversaries at distances greater than 50 kilometers. However, the Thai Gripen were outdated for short-range combat, as they did not have sighted helmets and used outdated AIM-9L Sidewinder missiles, which gave the Chinese a great advantage in combat within visual range. This result forced the Royal Thai Air Force to acquire Cobra helmets with integrated sights and state-of-the-art Iris T missiles for its Gripen fighters, which turned them into lethal machines in short-range combat. Aware of the difficulty imposed by Gripen in fighting beyond visual range, China sent its J-10 fighters in subsequent exercises with the Thailand, in an attempt to balance the combat, but unfortunately there were no more leaks of the results. 
It is important to point out here that all these results are from previous versions of the Gripen, especially the Gripen C, which is still a great plane. However, Saab is now introducing the Gripen E, the latest and most modern version of the Gripen fighter. The Gripen E has been heavily modernized compared to previous versions. It has a larger fuselage, capable of carrying more internal fuel, a new more powerful engine, active electronic scanning radar, infrared tracking system, new electronic warfare systems with gallium nitride technology, missile approach warning systems, more hardpoints for transporting weapons, the ability to fly in super cruise, among other new features. Seed version's previous Gripen versions were already quite challenging in aerial combat, we can only imagine how lethal the new Gripen E will be. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.